What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. That's at DMAC underscore LA. For all things Dodger baseball, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comment section. Today, I want to know from you guys, one, do you think the Padres versus the Dodgers is a real rivalry? Two, what would it take for it to become a real rivalry? And three, shoot your shot. Let me know who you got this weekend. How will the Dodgers fare against the Padres? Will they sweep the Padres? Will they take two out of three? Give me your predictions down below in the comments section. And for all the latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. It's finally here. The first showdown with the show pods begins tonight. The San Diego Padres versus the Los Angeles Dodgers. The New Bloods versus the Blue Bloods is going down tonight in San Diego. Now, some people think it's a rivalry. Some people don't. But the bottom line is these two teams do not like each other. There's always a lot of tension on the field when these two teams face off. And today we're going to look back at some of those moments. I'm going to tell you why the Padres and the Dodgers, they borderline hate each other at this point. These two teams teams don't get along. They're battling out for the NLDS. The Padres are trying to get in the way of the Dodgers, trying to prevent them from winning their ninth straight NLDS. Now, where do I stand on the rivalry? Look, the boys in blue have won the season series over San Diego for the last 11 consecutive years, and it'll take decades for it to become a rivalry like the Dodgers versus the Giants, but if I had to pay to see one game this year, it would be Dodgers versus Padres. It's the best matchup right now in all of Major League Baseball. Both teams have a lot of talent. Both teams consider themselves World Series contenders. The Dodgers are the favorites to win the World Series. The Padres are trying to establish a new winning culture in San Diego, and these two fan bases don't like each other. They're both in Southern California. It definitely has a strong big brother, little brother vibe. You got Padre fans out there saying the Dodgers won a Mickey Mouse ring in 2020, and you've got Dodger fans saying the Padres celebrated a goofy wild card series win last year. But for me, the fireworks really started in 2019 when the Padres took three of four from LA at Dodger Stadium. Manny Machado, who was on the Dodgers in 2018, signed with the San Diego Padres. And while Manny Machado was on deck, he had a chat with a fan where he bet him his entire contract that the Padres would win the World Series before the Dodgers. It's my contract. What? We'll win the World Series before you guys. 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 So was the bet official? Probably not. And in fairness to Manny Machado, if the Dodgers offered him 10 years, $300 million, he'd be wearing Dodger blue right now. But the Dodgers didn't have interest in signing him long term. But what happened, the Dodgers, they would end up winning the World Series before the San Diego Padres. And strike three. Dodgers have won it all. In 2020. So I'm just saying, tonight's the first night the Dodgers play the Padres in the regular season after winning the World Series in 2020. So I think tonight's the perfect night for Manny Machado to pay up his bet. It's my contact. What? We'll win the World Series before you guys. It's my contact. It's my contact. It's my contact. We'll win the World Series before you guys. We'll win the World Series before you guys. And then what took this budding Padres-Dodgers rivalry to the next level was the 2020 NLDS. The Padres and the Dodgers, there were so many fireworks from Cody Bellinger's Rob job on Fernando Tatis Jr. to Manny Machado's bat flip to Bruce Dark Gratterall. There was so much to unpack, so let's break it down. NLDS Game 2, Clayton Kershaw versus Manny Machado. And Manny Machado cranks this Clayton Kershaw slider out for a home run. And Manny's pumped. It was a big home run. He pretty much throws his bat into the upper deck. Let's effing go. Let's effing go. And then he's feeling it. He's like, oh, oh. And then Eric Hosmer takes Kershaw deep, and man, he's going crazy. Uh. Not sure if this is Eric Hosmer, famous guitarist Dave Navarro right here. And this is where it gets wild. Fernando Tatis Jr. hits a fly ball off Bruce Dar Gratterall. Bellinger's going back. He's at the track, and it's a rob job of Fernando Tatis Jr. Throws up the one, a little uh, to CT3. Belly pretty much ended the Padres' season with a catch of the year, and then Bruce Dar just loses his mind. Not sure exactly what he's saying here. Could be, vamos! And then the best thing ever, he throws his glove, and then he throws his hat. I'm telling you, this must must be a new era because I've never seen that. 
Then he gives him a little stare, does a little spin. He's pumped. He pounds his chest. Then he shows Belly some love out there for his great catch. Picks up his hat, does the bazooka. Boom! He points to the sky to thank God and honor his brother. Pounds his chest again. This man is on fire right now. And then he snatches his glove, walks off. Then he waves bye-bye. Then he blows him a kiss. A little kiss cam action from the bazooka to Manny Machado. And Manny was pissed. See him pointing, F you. F you. F you. I'm away for you. Then Muncy's like, hey, get the F out of here, bitch. Go back to your effing dugout. Get the F out of here. He stares him down. Then Moogie's like, go. And then Belly's like, bro, what even just happened just now? Did I really just make that catch? Man, what a great catch. Wow. So the Dodgers would go on to win that game and sweep the San Diego Padres. The Padres weren't at full strength, though. No Mike Clevenger, no Denelson Lamed. And then there was the Trent Grisham home run pimp job off Clay and Kershaw that really lit a fire under the Dodgers last year. That's when you really start to see the bad blood between these two teams. Let's check that one out. Padres, Dodgers, and Kershaw was dealing early. He had a two-hit shutout up until the sixth inning. Hadn't lost to the Padres since 2013. Then, boom! Home run San Diego. Trent Grisham takes Kershaw deep, and that's when things got interesting. He hits his bomb, does a little pimp job pose there, looks over that Padre dugout, drops his back, goes, let's go! And then as he starts his trip around the diamond, he looks over at the Dodgers dugout, does this funny little grin like, hey, I just took your ace deep right now. Then Kirsch is like, bro, it's not a postseason game, but aren't you the guy who blew the wild card game last year for the Brewers? That's you, right? And then he starts chirping over at the Dodgers dugout. And then he flashes nine with his hands. Right here, it's tough to tell exactly what he's saying. Looks like save it, motherfucker. Save it. It also looks like he could be saying soft, motherfucker soft so it's pretty tough to be a hundred percent on this one but i think it's seegs is a bad motherfucker seegs okay it probably wasn't that one it was most likely one of the first two but grisham is really starting to piss off this dodgers dugout and then members of the dodgers dugout ask grisham very politely to stop talking <laughs> Then he goes from being Mr. Tough Guy to professional hopscotch player. Wee! Boop! Right here. And he's bummed. He goes up to Tatis Jr. And he's like, come on, baby! Let's go! Let's fucking go! Uh! And Dave Roberts was not feeling it. He's like, this is the guy that made us have to play the Nationals last year in the NLDS. Dave Roberts looked heated. He was giving the death stare over that Padres dugout. I thought laser beams were going to come out of Doc's eyes. And then there was this passed off season. The dot... And then there was this passed off season. The Padres traded for you Darvish. They traded for Blake Snell. And the Dodgers signed Trevor Bauer. Now, that added another wrinkle to this rivalry because Trevor Bauer versus Manny Machado, they have some bad blood between each other. Manny Machado, of course, 10 for 17 in his career, including four home runs off Bauer. And Trevor Bauer talked about the rivalry with the Padres and Manny Machado. <laughs> Uh, it hasn't been too competitive. Um, basically, I've just been setting him up for this moment. You know, I faced him only once or twice a year uh, when he was in Baltimore and I was in Cleveland. Um, we haven't been in the same division, but now that we are, I, I saved the uh, I saved my best stuff and um, I saved it all for now. So he had his he had his time. This is my time. Uh, we'll flip that script real quick. So there you go. These two teams do not like each other. It's the best matchup in all of Major League Baseball. But I want to know from you guys, do you think the Padres versus the Dodgers is a rivalry? Will it ever be a rivalry? Give me a Y for yes or give me an N for no. And give me your picks for this weekend. Will the Dodgers sweep San Diego? Will they win this series? I want all your takes down below in the comment section. My name is Doug McCain. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. If you haven't yet, subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel for all things Dodgers. Dodgers baseball, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and if you want to see even more Dodgers content, smash that like button. For all his Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com, and until next time, think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out.